The project uh, is called WOW and WOW is uh, Woodlands, uh, Waterways and Wellbeing and one of the ideas that came out of that was to create 10 taster walks followed by a seminar bringing lots of people together to scope out just what benefits there are out here uh, in the countryside for nature between the canal and the woodlands uh, surrounding Inverness. So we have brought together uh, some great leaders who are coming in to deliver some super activities, everything from boat trips and playful activity to mindful nature walking, mindful movement, and a whole variety of, of different elements. There's a feel, a sort of happy, playful feel amongst all of it. It's. Uh, always got some tea and cake or flapjack or whatever so there's refreshments and it's aimed at making sure that people um, have an opportunity to feed back to us and say whether they like what's going on and see if it actually does help to give them a wee bit of quiet space and quiet mind. Today we looked, we used our eyes to collect some colourful things to make a teeny tiny palette of colours which made us concentrate on things around us and that was a looking exercise. We also did a listening exercise um, which was really interesting about people hearing different things with our eyes shut and we had to hear 10 things and it was interesting what you didn't hear that somebody else mentioned. Um, and what, what was the, uh, my main focus was on natural things and that was what I heard most of and other people heard human sounds so we're all keying into different things but it just made you concentrate on that and it made you also relate to the other people in the group you know and it was fun and we had a bit of a laugh and we enjoyed ourselves. We hope that this work will not only make people feel better in themselves at the time they're doing it, but will let them see the opportunities for future for themselves and give us the opportunity to do something more in the future. I really understood that stopping and focusing really closely on something helped my mind to stop turning around as it usually does during the day, all the problems you've got, stopping and focusing some, on something small, a little task that you can't get wrong and nobody's going to criticise you about, it was just really relaxing. It was very, very enjoyable. Hi, I'm uh, Tommy. I'm from the Occupational Therapy Department at New Craig's Hospital in Inverness. Okay, my name's Katrina Ross and I'm currently a patient in New Craigs. The challenges uh, for staff to get either patients to come along to these things is uh, some of the patients need to be escorted off the ground, which is then a kind of one-to-one -one scenario. Uh, the challenge in coming out to the nature walks is um, quite often uh, being a patient in New Craigs or any hospital and when you're getting drugs changed, which is what's happening to me at the moment, uh, it can make you very lethargic and really not want to do anything. So I think the, the biggest um, hurdle has been actually summoning up the energy to, to get out and about. Yeah. But um, I've been really well helped by the, by the staff at the hospital who've, who've encouraged me and, and taken me out here and it's been well worthwhile. What I myself personally have got out of this is I'm not really one for walking. So this is really the first time that I've actually gone out and like nature walks. Uh, although the OT department do go out on walks uh, every week but this is the first time it's been like a nature walk like this with the uh, uh, mindfulness topics uh, the pop-up coffee at the top of a hill uh, and it, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the, the kind of fresh air and the exercise and in particular the mindfulness as well it's really helped it's, it's got a really refreshing effect and, and um, very, very positive, so I find myself going back in feeling much happier and much more energised after after being out and, uh, you know, really kind of taking the time to, to appreciate nature and the surroundings. And great camaraderie as well, a really nice bunch of folk going out, so I've, I've not regretted coming out at all. The value that I've got feedback from the patients that I've taken along to the walks is they've all felt like an inner peace, uh, just being outside the hospital environment also with the, the nature uh, animals 
and the views. Uh, there's been really a positive effect on the patients that I've taken. Yeah, it is hard because um, I'm only allowed out at the moment because of the change in, in medication and the fact that it's seen as risky me being outside on my own for a long time. Uh, I'm very restricted in the time out that I've got from the ward, so I'm only allowed out um, for an hour in the grounds and then if I go any further than that I need to be accompanied. So I think um, while having a walk around the grounds of the hospital is definitely beneficial and I do do that, it's um, when I'm escorted and can get out further afield it makes so much difference to a day uh, and these walks have enabled, they've put a, a framework in place which enables you to get out in a, in a really safe environment because the people who are leading the walks and the people who are on the walks kind of understand what's going on so it feels really safe and it feels really um, really beneficial to, to be getting out in this way and I think the more opportunity that people have got while they're in hospital to do things like that the better.